All right, now let's talk titles. Text objects are one of the most popular graphical elements you'll probably incorporate in most projects. And Final Cut Pro X has a wide range of pre-built text effects. So if you go to up here into the, our little uh, browser area here, we're going to click on the T for the text, the titles browser. And when I open that up, you see here is a list of all of the different preset titles that you've got built into the program. And there is a huge number of them. And they range from things like Star Wars style to just a very simple fade in, fade out, uh, to things that are really much more outrageous stuff with background elements. And uh, let's see, there's one over here called Snap. And, right? And, and for any of these titles, you see where they've got those title description, subtitle information, all of those are going to be preset information that you can type in. So to add a title to a project, you can do one of two things. You can drag and drop, just like any other effect. You can drag and drop this as a clip. Um, you can insert it, or you can uh, com connect it like this. If you double-click, let me actually move my playhead to a position where it's not overlapping there. If I double-click this title, titles appear differently than other elements. They appear as these purple bars. And this purple bar is going to show me the, the text information here and that title is now applied. I can change the duration of it, just like any other clip. Just gonna move it over to here. And if I play that, you see, the duration of the clip informs how long the animation takes. So all this pre-built animation that's in here, this is the, that, that's the these default duration. If I make this shorter, that whole thing's gonna happen faster. And to make it even more exaggerated so you can really see what I'm talking about, I made it really small now, and now it all happens super fast. So the duration of the title determines how fast the animation is going to occur. And again, you can apply titles in any way. This title has a background, so you're, it's obscuring whatever's beneath it. Even if I put it overlapping these other clips, it's still going to completely obscure them. I'm going to delete this title by clicking it and pressing delete. If I take another title, such as... Let's just take this sideways drift title, and I apply that. That is going to be semi-transparent, so the text is going to appear over the background video. So if you put a title on top of a background element like that, of course, unless it has a background like that other one I just showed you, it's going to uh, be displayed on top of the text behind it. So that's the simple basics of how to apply them. Before we get into modifying them and customizing, let's just look at the selection of titles we have to work with.